Well, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of passion in this room today, in there. I'm sure we agree on a couple of things. Everybody want to beat Pat Murphy this year? Yeah. yeah. How about fire Nancy Pelosi? Oh, no. Listen, just uh, we just make a couple of comments. Um, First, I want to congratulate the executive board on their election today. I want to thank everybody who ran for committee person on your elections on May the 18th. This is a time for us to be a unifying and unified force to change the course of what's happening in the nation's capital. And I know that uh, those of you who have been here a long time, as well as those of you who are new to the room, that's what's bringing you out here. Um, what's happening locally, what's happening in Harrisburg, and I think principally for many of you, what's happening to our nation, and it has to change. Let me make a couple of comments real quick, because Harry was, uh, Harry was elected chairman the first time in June of 1972. So if my math is correct, this is his 20th term. Wow. 20 terms, right? And, you know, many of us come in and out of this room, you know, for our elections, and we all think our election is the most important. But for Harry and for Mary, they have two elections every year. So for 20 terms, that's 40 elections, and every one of them to Harry and to Mary is important. And uh, that's a lot of stress, and it's a lot of work. And, uh, you know, Harry's a great leader, and some people call him a party boss, and there's a difference between a party boss and a county chairman. A county chairman is a leader, and a county chairman is somebody who sacrifices their own time with their family and puts the troops' interests, your interests before their own interests. And that's what Harry has done now for 38 years. And before he was county chairman, he was an, he was an, as Mary says, he was an elected official for 12 years, an elected commissioner in Bristol Township. That's 50 years. 50 years, five decades of his life to this party. And all he ever wanted was, and, and he's, he's given the same speech every time I've been here at the end, it's all about coming together. It's all about doing what's best for Bucks County. And if we nominate the best candidates we can, and they do a good job for Bucks County, which is what we ask them to do, or our state or our nation, then we'll do our job and they'll make the Republican Party look. It's not the party first and then the community. It's the community first, always with Harry, and then they'll make the party look good and operate well. So I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with Harry. Um, Mary's very generous with Harry's time. I, I come over and I talk to him. I get advice from him. And, you know, he always says the same thing to me at the end, and those of you who spend any time talking to Harry, you probably recognize this. He'll tell you what he thinks, and then he'll say, now I've told you, Mike, what I think. You do what you want, right? Isn't that what he says? That's what a great leader does. He tells you what his opinion is. He says, now you do what you need to do. Well, I think we know what we need to do in 2010. We need to come together. We need to stick together. We need to be principled. We need to work hard. As, uh, as Anna said in the back of the room earlier, this is going to be an uphill climb for me and for all of us, in defeating a, an entrenched incumbent. This is going to be our best opportunity to do it. And I know that working together, we've got, uh, it couldn't come fast enough for me. I wish it was tomorrow, but we've got four and a half months. If we stick together for four and a half months, we're going to elect Pat Toomey and Tom Corbett and Jim Cauley. I'll get a chance to defeat Pat Murphy, and we're going to win top of the ticket to bottom, because as Harry always told us, we stick together. We're unified. Nobody can beat us. In the good years, if we're unified, we're going to be a steamroller rolling down that broad street in, in, in Doylestown. We'll get the job done. But if we get divided, we're going to have a problem. So do you want to win? Yeah. All right. Let's stick together. Thank you. big speaker. I try to do what's right. I've done it all these years. My wife ain't happy with me right now. But, she me right now. but I just thought it was important that we do that this rest of this, this year coming up. Uh, and we have to stick together. We have to work. We got. We want to try to win those and make it a better place to live. And when Pat and I started this, we said we don't want any money. We want to do it because we want to work there. Because people say when you get that and you pay they said we only did it to get money. We don't get any money, Pat, nor I. We do it because we've lived here all our life, because we care, and we want to make it the best county to raise. So thank you for everything you've done. And I've tried it, and I can go argue with Mary because she thinks I should. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs>